Oh, my contract's up. When you throw away a cell phone, do you realize what you're throwing away? Your average cell phone is made up of materials that are hazardous to the environment and potentially to your health. The cell phone coating is often made out of lead, which can leak into the earth's soil and groundwater and landfills if not recycled properly. Even lead-free phones can still be classified as hazardous due to the high amounts of copper, nickel, antimony, and zinc. The battery often contains the most damaging substances. It can either be made up of nickel and cadmium, which are cancerous and can cause lung and liver damage, or contain explosive lithium and toxic lead. Other toxic materials include mercury, beryllium, and arsenic. If incinerated, the air can become polluted. Uh, usually, yeah, I just throw them away. Um, probably every four years. Like every four or five months. But a cell phone is small, right? How bad can the impact be? Think about this. Most phone companies give a free upgrade every two years. The average life cycle of a cell phone is really only around a year and a half, or just a year if everyone wants the newest design. The rapid evolution of the cell phone and its design have really gotten consumers to upgrade their phones regularly in order to keep up. Take the new iPhone 4S, for example. In just the first weekend of its release, over 4 million products were sold. The impact of this is probably 4 million more cell phones clogging our world's landfills. So if most people from their mid-teen years all the way through their adult life have a new phone every 18 months, we're talking almost 14 billion cell phones, and that's only counting the United States. All of these hazardous materials and landfills add up, having a substantial impact on our environment. Because of these issues, we are left with the need to design cell phones with the environment in mind and limit the use of hazardous materials. So put down that iPhone and take advantage of today's hip new innovations. New designs for cell phones are in the making. Designs that will change how we think about technology and that will have a positive impact on the environment. By being conscious in our choice of cell phones, we can greatly reduce the amount of waste created and maybe even save on electricity. A cell phone made of grass would cut out any sort of hazardous material and leave no remaining waste because it disintegrates after about 18 months. A coke-powered cell phone would eliminate the need for an electricity charged battery containing hazardous materials. Charging your cell phone would be as simple as filling up your drink in the dining hall. So, talk on it. Hello? Oh, hey. What's up? <laughs> Using recycled materials is a great way to make the world a greener place. If Verizon or AT&T took a lesson from Credo, the most used phones in the world could be eco-friendly. Credo is a nonprofit organization that's goal is to create eco-friendly cell phones. Their phone is made out of 87% recycled materials. Also, the outer casting of the cell phone consists of 19% recycled plastics, which helps reduce the amount of plastic being poured into the ground. The phone also comes with a solar-powered charger, so it doesn't waste or use any electricity. If all phone companies used these phones, the world would be so much greener. So the next time you're looking to upgrade your cell phone, check into its design first. Is it made with the environment in mind? Could you be making a better choice in terms of its materials and means of power? Although ideas like the grass and coke phones haven't quite been produced yet, Credo's LG Remark is certainly an option and so are other phones like it. The design of a cell phone can have a significant impact on the environment.